What's going on guys? So in this video we're revamping a list that I didn't even realize I haven't done since 2020 and this is one of my favorite topics to begin with. I like versatile fragrances. I like do-it-alls. It's just my jam nine times out of ten and in this video I'm going over ten, per ten great picks out of my personal collection that I feel are just great for all seasons. Doesn't matter if it's hot outside or it's snowing outside these fragrances will work. There's a combination of some more affordable, cheap stuff, some mid-level designers, and some niche. We've got a little bit of everything, so you're bound to hear something you may like that you might want to get your nose on, so stay tuned. Starting with one that's known to be kind of a dead ringer for Blue de Chanel at a much more affordable price point, we are talking about Masoni Parfum Pour Homme. This wonderful fragrance, kind of a bit darker in the dry down than Blue de Chanel Eau de Toilette. This is indeed an Eau de Parfum, and it kind of, the scent profile file kind of falls somewhere in between the EDT and the EDP of Blue de Chanel. You get a lot of citrus up top, grapefruit, and things of that nature. But the biggest difference here is instead of incense, you have birch. That's what kind of caters to that slightly darker smoky smell because it's a birch leaf, birch tar, birch wood smokiness versus incense. They do come across differently. It's a darker nuance from the birch, I find. You do have a little bit of earthiness. Of course, there's some warm woods in the backdrop. Citrus and warm woods, kind of what Blue de Chanel is known for. Performance is above average without being any sort of beast, but it is a very good performer overall, and you can find 100 mLs like this around 40 bucks, sometimes much less. I paid high 30s for this bottle. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I did a full review a while back. This stuff is really good. It doesn't matter when or where, what you're wearing. It just works. This is signature scent ready type of scent profile. And it's one, like I said, doesn't matter if it's hot, doesn't matter if it's snowing. You can just spray this on. You'll be good to go with Masoni Parfum Pour Homme. Next is one that admittedly, because of the green aspects of it, I think if I was to pick one season it's best for, it's spring, but it definitely has the performance, the ability, the likability, and the versatility to go year round. We're talking about Parfums de Marley Greenly. Beautiful green apple, apple light woods, a little bit of fresh greens to it. Very versatile, very easy going, good performer. Definitely smells bit higher quality than your run-of-the-mill designer while not smelling like a crazy expensive fragrance. You're going to pay a bit more for fragrances like this from Parfums de Marly, but you can find like 75 emails like this. This came from Kingdom Fragrances. I want to say it was mid-100s, uh, 150 range for this 75 email. Might have been a little bit less than that Kingdom Fragrance. I'm not sure if Steve has it in stock currently. It's been a little while since I got this in Percival, um, but very good stuff. If you're looking for versatile, attention grabbing, easy to like, and work for literally all seasons. This is one of the better fragrances from the house, in my personal opinion. It's a safer play. There's nothing crazy complex or, you know, slightly more challenging about it. There's no heavy dark nuances. It's just fresh. It's a little bit on the fun side because of that crisp, bright apple smell that you get in the top. Uh, like a little bit of fruity sweetness going on here. Like I said, nothing too serious. Uh, but also nothing too playful. That's why it's just, with its performance and the density of the aroma, it just works all seasons. It was an obvious choice for this video. Get your nose on this one if you haven't yet. You may love it, you may hate it, but you don't know if you don't try it. Parfums de Marley Greenly. Next, this is one of the best cheap rack store pickups I've had of the year. I uh, haven't worn this one in a little bit. It's time to throw it back in the rotation because it's one of the best all season fragrances in my collection for sure. It is Davidoff Cool Water Parfum. You can find these at the rack store, these 50 mLs for 25 bucks online. They're popping up in the sub $40, $40 price point. They are worth it at that price for me, high 30s, even for 50 mL. Uh, reason being, performance is there, versatility is absolutely there. You get a little bit of everything here. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spice. There's some citrus, pink pepper. You have this slightly smoky and earthy vetiver. You do get a little bit of a shower gel feel without being just a basic generic light blue shower gel type of smell. Um, even though there isn't any Ambroxan listed, I do get a little bit of it here. But this one's got a bit more of a serious edge versus some of the recent cool water flankers. Um, but I wouldn't sit here and call it a, you know, 
dressy occasion, super formal type of scent, though this does work with business formal and business casual. Casual day off as well. I mean, it can do pretty much everything. There's enough freshness here to where, and it's not too heavy to work fine in high heat, but enough performance and density and I guess body overall to the base of this fragrance to work perfectly fine in the cold weather. Get your nose on this one if you can. I'm not exactly sure uh, which retailers carry Davidoff, but if you come across it and they have a tester, definitely spray it on your skin, take it for a test drive and see if it's for you because you can definitely get it cheaper online and especially in rack stores. It's great for all seasons. Davidoff Cool Water Parfum. Next, this one may surprise some of you. Um, if I didn't have this one, probably it's Eau de Toilette Flanker would be in its place, I guess, because that's a good fragrance, but I find this one's just better for my taste. It is Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum. I absolutely adore this. It's so much richer, smoother, and darker overall. The scent profile is not exactly the same as the Eau de Toilette. They have changed a few things. It's definitely nice and dark, fruity, smoky. Performance is great and longevity. The sillage is very nice. Admittedly, not as loud as the Eau de Toilette. If you're looking for that big time heavy attention grabber in the first couple of hours, the projection's definitely in the Eau de Toilette. Whereas this still grabs some attention, just not as abrasive. It's not as aggressive at grabbing attention as the Eau de Toilette. This is just a better version of the scent profile, in my personal opinion. I love this one. And as for as dark and smoky as I'm saying it is, I wore it to dinner, I wore it during the day, throughout the summer, no big deal. So I can vouch for ex with experience that this works fine in high heat and it definitely has the right scent profile and performance to cut through some cold weather. So this is one that surprised me from the minute I sprayed it, just how much more I like it than the Eau de Toilette. And I've always been a big fan of the Eau de Toilette. No, I have not tried the regular Eau de Parfum. No, I have not tried the Pure Parfum. So I only have two of them and of the two I have, this is definitely the better version in my opinion. Granted, it costs double the price. It's worth it in my opinion. If you can get your nose on this one some kind of way, get a sample, buy a decant online or something, try it out. See if this is the preferred version for you because for me, it absolutely is. And based on experience, I can tell you, this is great for all seasons. Club de Nuit Intense Man, limited edition parfum. One of the best blue fragrances on the market. One of the best blue fragrances to come out in a long time. One of the best bang for your buck fragrances. Some of you may know exactly what I'm talking about. It might even be in the thumbnail. I haven't made the thumbnail yet. But Rocha Sloan. I've been singing this fragrance's praises ever since I got it. I paid 30 bucks for this tester bottle. Came in a brown tester box. Has a tester sticker on the back. 30 to 40 bucks is what you can expect to pay for this one. It's so good. Bright, juicy gin hit from this juniper berries note. It's got a freshness, slightly earthy floral, but not a dirty earthiness uh, to this geranium that's kind of said a little bit sweeter type of geranium, not just completely a minty fresh type of geranium note. There's some fresh greens here. There's a little bit of spicy tone, a lot of wood, a lot of woody smell and woody nuance in the backdrop as it dries. There's other things going on, but that's the main things I pick up from this fragrance. It smells nice and clean and refined without being a serious fragrance. It doesn't smell cheap and synthetic, though you can get it for a cheap synthetic fragrance price point. It goes with everything. It works year round. I can't imagine a bad scenario, situation, or season to wear this. This is just that good of a fragrance. This is top tier, especially for the price point. I do really like the newer flanker aromatic touch, but if I had to pick between the two, I'm definitely taking the original. The original is that good in my opinion. This is one of the best blue fragrances to come out in the last handful of years in my personal opinion. If you haven't tried this one yet, try it. Just find a way to get a decant or, you know, I, I'm not going to sit here and advocate for you to roll the dice on a blind buy, but you could do worse. Just saying. One of the best all season fragrances I have acquired in a long time is Rocha Loam. Next is a fragrance that, shamefully, I don't wear enough myself. And when compiling this list, this one jumped out in my mind because it's just so versatile. It's got freshness. It's got a lot of woody nuances here. There's even a little bit of toffee to provide just a touch of sweetness in the backdrop. There's a lot going on here. This is a pretty complex fragrance. It has some great performance and is great for all seasons because y'all own two. It's beautiful rose gold electroplated look to the bottle admittedly makes it a fingerprint magnet but actually had the bottle backwards there's the label this is some really really good stuff guys 
absolutely sample worthy. This is on the pricey side. You're going to get the performance. It doesn't smell like everything else while still being a pretty easy and versatile wear. There's a little bit of florals here. There's a little bit of fruitiness. There's, like I said, there's a lot going on. There's a little bit of everything in here, but it's so well blended and the performance is top notch. For it being eau de parfum, it has a really good projection, a bright and airy projection with a lingering, relatively strong lingering sillage with, you know, a solid 10 hours of life on my skin personally. Like I said, get a sample and try this one. Yes, the original could have went here, but I feel like this scent profile probably appeals to more people because it lacks the oud and heavy orange blossom that was in the first one. The first one's all about orange, orange blossom, oud, and tonka bean. It's gorgeous. It, I absolutely love that fragrance. But if I had to pick the more versatile, easier wear of the two, it's definitely this one. This is the better all season fragrance. That's more of a, you know, oud for summer in many ways. I like to wear that one in the high heat, but this one will definitely do the job. One of the better, safer fragrances from the brand, and it's great year round. Could y'all own two? I gotta have another blue fragrance in this video because there's a lot of blue fragrances out there, and some of them are just exponentially better than others at being great for every season. And Ferragamo by Salvatore Ferragamo would fit that bill. This is one of those blue fragrances. Violet leaf heavy, fresh spicy greens. Has a little bit of a metallic ozonic hit because there's a lot of violet leaf here. If you're a fan of violet leaf fragrances, you will like this one. Dense woods in the backdrop. It's all about ozonic, fresh greens, light fresh spice, light woods. That's pretty much the stages of this fragrance for me personally. I adore this fragrance. I have for a long time. In fact, I actually want to spray it on my hand so I can get a little my a little bit of my skin chemistry going because I like how this one smells in the air. Love how it smells on clothes. Really love how it smells on skin. It's just lovely. It radiates off of my skin. It really works well with my skin chemistry. It's not the easiest fragrance to find. This came out in the very beginning of 2020. Um, most of the time when it pops up at discounters, it sells out pretty quickly. I don't know if it's from getting limited stock so it sells out quickly, or people are just so eager to get it when, as soon as it shows up, it sells out. I don't know which one of those two it is. could be a combination of both. But if you can get your nose on this one or you can get it for a pretty good price, they have a few flankers of this at this point. I believe there's three flankers now. I haven't tried any of the flankers, but I can tell you the original is wonderful. It's one of the best blue fragrances ever. The downside to me having this one is because of where it is on my shelving. That's where it doesn't get enough, you know, sprays on my body, honestly, because it's in the back of a shelf on a shelf where I have boxed fragrances from Ferragamo. The way it fits with the way I have it organized, it fits on the very back against the wall. So out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. It's not because I don't love it that there isn't a bigger dent in this. It's it gets overlooked because I don't physically see it most of the time. But when I pull it out for videos like this, it goes in the rotation for at least one good wearing because it's damn good. If you're looking for a great all-season fragrance, find a way to get your nose on Ferragamo from Salvatore Ferragamo. One of my absolute favorite fragrances, especially when it comes to more affordable niche, because you can get this one for a great price. Not long ago, Aura Fragrance and Kingdom Fragrances had this for like $67, $65, something like that. Which, for what you're getting, that's a steal. That's a bargain for Mancera Cedrapoise. I love this stuff. That is no secret. If you're familiar with this channel, if you've watched, you know, even a you know, small amount of videos from me, you've probably heard me talk about this fragrance before. I've done a full review on it. I've done a revisited couple years later review on it for this particular year. I've done a comparison between this and the new Intense version. And I've featured it in many weekly rotations many lists because it's one of my favorites it really is i've been through a 10 ml decant i've started to put a decent little dent in my four ounce bottle this is one that i always have to have sprays of in my collection it's fresh it's fruity it's woody it's a little bit leathery it does the same job as aventus for a bargain price point still having pretty good quality it's extremely alluring this is attractive stuff this is a magical sillage this is a compliment getter and this works for everything there is not one situation in my experience that this fragrance is not well suited for this works in every season works in high heat strong enough dense enough to work in the cold dresses up dresses down outdoors indoors work setting date night doesn't matter 
You just spray accordingly to how it reacts on your skin chemistry for the situation and setting you're going to be in, and you'll be in good shape. You're going to smell great. You'll probably be the best smelling person in the room nine times out of ten when wearing fragrances like this. Absolutely, hands down, one of the best all-season fragrances. Mancera, Cidre Boise. This one still surprises me every time I spray it. I've worn it a lot recently. I, I also did a full review recently. We are talking about Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. Not everybody's favorite choice, I understand, but it's just so easygoing and so versatile. So versatile. Dare I say uber versatile, which I would put above being mega versatile. Um, this stuff, it's just so fresh, bright, airy, soapy, clean. There's this soft wood tone from this clear wood note that it has. Um, it's like I said, it's got this bright, breezy type of scent profile. Inoffensive, easygoing, actually performs really well on my skin. Works fine in the heat. I haven't tried it out in the cold yet, but I'll tell you what, it's really, it's actually pretty strong on my skin, surprisingly strong on my skin. So I'm willing to bet it's going to be very enjoyable when winter rolls around because it's not leaving my rotation table. When I'm in the mood for something fresh, when the cold rolls, ar rolls around, this seems like the, the right scent profile for me to reach for. There's others that I'll have in mind besides just this, but this one's not leaving the rotation table anytime soon. I'm really digging this one. Get yourself a sample and try this fragrance. If this is the first time you're hearing me talk about it because you haven't seen any of the recent features on weekly rotations, any of the list or the full review on this one, trust me, try it. Don't just take my word for it secure a carded sample online there are samples of this available ebay places like that and see if it's for you it might be too generic and boring for you you may have something similar to it or you might be like holy cow where has this fragrance been i need to get a bottle of it never know unless you try it but for me personally this is definitely one of the best all season fragrances i've grabbed in a while it's bulgari man glacial essence last but most certainly not least i just wore this one a few days ago uh, this is from a small niche brand out of New York City that is doing some remarkable things. I have a discovery set from them. I have a few favorites picked out there. The next one I'd like to get from them is uh, White Moroccan Leather. We're talking about Habibi New York. This is Sage and Citrus Oud. Now, don't if you're not a fan of Oud, don't let the word Oud scare you off because it's barely there. It's just kind of in the blend and goes with the notes. There's a little bit of spice here. Of course, there's a lot of citrus, some aromatic and fresh spicy sage. Kind of has a pretty strong blue fragrance vibe going for it. Um, I would say it's ideally a three-season fragrance overall, but it's got enough strength and versatility for sure to work in any situation in the winter as well. Ideal spring, summer, fall, all-season versatility, though. This stuff definitely does the trick. Uh, like I said, performance is very good. I wouldn't call this a beast, but for being a fresh fragrance that is fits right into the blue category with Oud. It's a blue Oud fragrance, basically. Um, it's awesome. I'm so glad to have this. Uh, I did collaborate with the brand and got this bottle sent to me a while back, and I was able to pick out one, and I had not tried anything from the brand. And it just seemed like I saw the note break down. I looked at the, the idea behind the whole fragrance, the name, and I was like, you know what? That absolutely strikes me as something that suits my taste. And damn it. I picked the right fragrance because this was the perfect one for me to start with. It made me a believer. It made me want to explore more from the brand. So definitely get some samples. They have samples, sample kits, discovery sets for their different collections. Check out Habibi New York online. You might find that right fragrance for you because for me, I got lucky with the first one I chose. It was the right fragrance for me. Definitely great all season versatility. Basically in a niche blue fragrance. It's Habibi New York Sage and Citrus Oud. Well, that's the 10 that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Please go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. What of these 10 have you tried? Have you gotten your nose on or do you plan on getting your nose on? Was anything that you heard in this video maybe helpful for giving you that nudge to maybe secure a sample or a discovery set of one of these houses? Um, from my personal taste, these are some fantastic options. Um, a few of these don't leave my rotation table. Not everything makes the weekly rotation that I wear throughout the week because there's certain things that if my scent of the day starts to wear off and we're going to go somewhere for a couple of hours, I'll spray something, you know, that's not super strong that, you know, is like a five, six, seven hour performer like a Rocha Sloan, for example. And then when I take my shower in the evening, I have my out the shower fragrance. So this is stuff that 
almost all of this doesn't leave my rotation table and then some of it's going to stay on it for a little while because now that I've smelled them, I'm in the mood to wear them. So until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the tin in this video and you give them a spray now, pretty confident you'll thank me later. If you have a taste similar to mine, you'll probably like these. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.